The uh, following is the uh, text of a letter to the editor that I wrote um, the uh, Jewish transcript newspaper in Seattle that was published October 8th, 1999. As uh, I find it of interest rereading it now, uh, is that 17 years later, because of the prevalence of uh, anti-black, white supremacist racism, anti-Semitism, and other bigotry in the uh, Trump-Pence campaign and the selection by President-elect Trump of a, a uh, white supremacist and anti-Semite Stephen Bannon as his uh, White House, uh, I believe, chief of staff. The article, the letter of the editor was uh, titled Parallels in the uh, publication, in the newspaper. Robert Stern's angry letter, published September 24th, attacking the idea that there is any parallel to be drawn between the systematic murder of millions of Jews during World War II and violent hate attacks against Jews and other minority group members here in America in recent years can serve a, recent pur a useful purpose. I'm sorry, a useful purpose. For one, it raises the question of whether a Holocaust parentheses against Jews, blacks, non-white immigrants, or any other targeted group, in the parentheses, can happen in America here. Bringing the debate out of the halls of academia and into a public forum, which is important. If the Anti-Defamation League's annual reports on anti-Semitic hate and violence are too much for Mr. Stern because of the quote-unquote prejudiced nature of that organization, I suggest he go to the public library and bring up the internet website of Klan Watch and the Southern Poverty Law Center of Mobile, Alabama. They're not a Jewish organization and they monitor hate groups around the country. Uh, www.splcenter.org While it is true that there are not tens of millions of Americans involved tacitly through silence or enthusiastically at massive rallies denouncing Jews and saluting a dictator, as was the case in Germany and Austria in the 1930s and World War II years, it is dangerous for us to ignore the huge increase in hate groups on the Internet, heavily armed hate and militia groups throughout the U.S., and attacks on Jews by Christian fundamentalists who seek our conversion. Three local ministers with whom I have done Holocaust education work to their Christian congregations have told me that they worry that continued quote-unquote resistance of Jews to accept Jesus, Jesus as Messiah will certainly lead to more physical attacks on Jews in America. Therefore, it would be negligent for us to ignore campaigns against Jews, whether they whether they are by extremist groups that many of us wish to simply quote-unquote write off as nutcases, or their concerted multi-million dollar conversion campaigns targeting Jews. We don't have to go far to find virulent anti-Semitic groups either. The American Front Skinheads is an Everett. That's Washington State. There are white racist groups throughout Washington State, there is a big organizing drive by white racist skinheads targeting white teens in Lane County, Oregon. Ironically enough, in the same area where the University of Oregon at Eugene is located. Yours, Akiva Segan, Seattle. And I will again uh, add as a postscript, as I did to my preface, that the um, embrace of the Trump-Pence campaign by uh, white supremacists, white nationalists, the KKK, uh, most visibly by David Duke of Louisiana, and many others, the resurgence of uh, white demonstrators with um, Confederate flags, especially down south, but not exclusively in the, in the deep south, and the uh, news, as the news have reported, uh, the uh, tremendous uh, rise in hate crimes against. Uh, those appearing to be minority group members since uh, during in 2015 and ongoing now, even since the uh, election 
is uh, deeply, deeply troubling. Um, attacks, uh, violent attacks against Sikhs, it's S-I-K-H-S, who aren't Muslim, but are mistaken so by um, some white supremacists because of their head coverings. Attacks against Hispanics, Latinos, and so on. Uh, attacks against uh, Muslims, especially uh, American Muslim women who uh, have their heads covered with uh, head scars and so on. All uh, deeply troubling, uh, this racism that has been uh, just blatantly and overtly promoted by uh, Mr. Trump, Mr. Pence, and the entire Republican establishment. Don't be silent. That's what I tell student audiences when I do uh, my tolerance education through art, uh, PowerPoint presentations in schools and universities. Thank you.